Hi ho. Hi ho. Words are inadequate to describe how it feels to truly come home for the first time, especially when home is something you've never experienced. I never said goodbye. I was working just two miles down the road on the day of his funeral. I felt the same pull when I missed seeing him at the hospital. I dropped everything and drove the longest five minutes of my life. I walked up to the community center, shaking, alone. It was filled with strangers. Not enough seats for everyone. I sat against the back wall of windows. Inside it felt like I was slowly falling to my knees. I heard a faint drum become louder and louder, like the voices in the woods that I used to distinctly hear as a young girl. I began to smell the sage burning. It all seemed so foreign to me, yet so familiar. I was terrified. An overwhelming feeling of grief came over me. I just wanted to scream. Why was I denied all of this? What was happening to my spirit? I felt like I wanted to die. And yet I was being born at the same time. I was his only daughter. I was unable to move toward him or the family I had never known. Just as I was about to run and escape, just as I was about to leave my emotions and discomfort from not understanding the ceremony, someone called out my childhood name. Christiane. Do you know who I am? With my fractured memory, I could not remember him. It's me, Jeffy. He was my cousin, my favorite cousin. He was in the photo I carried all of my life. The only photo I kept close to me of this family. Jeffy was my first friend growing up. The only child I remembered playing with during the many seasons of my father's violence. I was beyond words. He made me feel safe and guided me through the rest of the ceremony and unfamiliar traditions. Where had I been? Why didn't my father know I needed this? His native identity saved him from addictions. He knew the power of the drum, medicines, and teachings. How could he have forgotten me? Everyone at the funeral shared stories so freely about his recovery and kindness, except me. I had nothing to share. Why didn't he bring me home? He was a man I hardly knew, but desired to love. This journey has been the most difficult to walk. I'm filled with remorse, anger, resentment, pain, and longing, but I'm learning to keep moving forward towards love and forgiveness. He gave me so little in life, but now I realize he has given me so much in death. My identity. I am his only daughter, the granddaughter of his parents, a descendant of resilient ancestors, of native men and women who have struggled, suffered, and knew pain worse than I. He gave me life, history, a name, and he gave me a family. Yes, I can say it now. I'm a Baloo. I'm also a Batiste and a Quigno. He is part of a generation of brave men and women who have been working hard to overcome the effects of historical trauma, drug and alcohol abuse, and domestic violence. Today, I have come home. Today, I belong to a beautiful family of Anishinaabe people. <laughs>